All right, guys, let's start this week off. Let's set it off. It's me, your girl, Tina Marie, True Meaning of Radiance. Welcome back to the weekly vlog of shopping, okay? So we're going to different stores. We're going to see what different stores have available. Of course, we're doing department store shopping this time around, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go to different department stores to see what they have. Um, so we're gonna be going this week to Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington. Okay, um, and is there gonna be another one? I don't even know yet. I don't even know. I don't even know it. I don't even know it, but we're about to find out. But let's go ahead. Let's get started in these stores, see what these stores have, and definitely stick around all the way to the end because all the way at the end, we have the haul of what I picked up. So super excited about this week's um, adventures because it's all department stores. So let's go. Look, right next to the Marshalls is the Bath and Body Works, but I ain't going in there. I ain't going to do it, y'all. We're going to stick to the stores I said we're sticking to. And that's that. That's that. That's all we're doing. Nope, I ain't taking y'all in there. I ain't taking y'all in there. So let's see what they have. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at this. This is called Peach Harvest. Ultra Dental Formula. Enrich with vitamin C. Infused with essential oils. $5.99. That's a good price. And this is a lot of scrub for $5.99. Like a lot. And these are what body prescriptions i can't say i do without you oh rose bouquet i do crew vanilla buttercream these are all body scrubs guys good things are coming coconut exfoliating body scrub they about to start the music so i gotta do a voiceover i swear i cannot stand when they add the music like let me just film in peace like goodness but they got a lot of philosophy stuff um that they had available in there i always like looking at the different hand soaps because the hand soaps are really nice as well and their scrubs like their scrubs are one heck of a deal 5.99 for their scrubs now we know bath and body works is going to cost us what you know like um what is the scrub price? $16.50. And then if we get like a tree hut scrub, we're paying like $8.99. So $5.99, $4.99 for scrubs. And they're bigger. To me, that's the win. Like they be having some big behind body washes. Like these big behind body washes, I think are like under $8. Like under $8. And they're huge. And I always thought, why does my grandma and all them go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all these discount stores? What's the point? What's the purpose? Why do y'all do that? But they get so much more for their money going to stores like this and the stuff lasts forever and it's so cheap you don't have to buy as much but i know me <laughs> i like to use a product up and i like to get through them quick and i am like uh just obsessed with body washes and stuff so you know i cannot have like a million quadrillion gazillion of ones from the department stores or i would like lose my mind you know i'll be at these discount stores losing my marbles but the packaging be cute everything be cute and sometimes the smell be cute sometimes the smell don't be there sometimes it just be cute packaging and stank that has happened to me before and i'm like ew why does it stank like that but that's just some of the time it's some of the time not all the time <laughs> but this one really caught my eye and i was like "Ooh, what is that and y'all it wasn't um in the video uh at the end when i do the haul but i did pick it up it just for some reason i skipped it over when i was doing my haul or whatever but i did pick it up because it was the peach and i was like "Ooh, that peach though what that do so i gotta know what that peach do so definitely that was one i was for so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see the rest of the items that they had at the store. I'm going to pop in time to time because this store had a lot. Like, I spent, like, at least 30 minutes, y'all, browsing the area, browsing just body care. And the people are looking at me like, this lady is either stealing or something because... <laughs> she keeps coming back to these areas over and over and over and over again i had to because they were like 
oh my god i can't believe this item's here oh my god i cannot believe this item's here and some of the names are names that we're not big on and they're not big names but i think that's the cool thing about it is when they're not big names because when they're huge and big names you know we sometimes just buy off names but when you find companies that are smaller and you don't know too much about sometimes you can find some good gems and the thing about these type of stores if you see something grab it and get it and get it right then and there and i was supposed to go over to the music voiceover and here i am still running my mouth because it's so much to talk about when it comes to hygiene like it's life like everything about hygiene to me is life i love the way it makes me feel i love the way my mindset changes once i get in there it's like it's just amazing i absolutely love some good behind body care and you know it is what it is I regret not getting that sandalwood and vanilla. It was pretty. It was priced right. I love sandalwood. I don't know why I didn't get it because all I kept saying is, oh my goodness, I got enough Bath and Body Works soaps. I don't need any more um, hand soaps. And do you really need anything of what you buy? Uh, No, never. Don't need it. But I end up getting it anyway. So I don't know why I didn't pick that up. And look at this. A vitamin C um, face mask. I thought that was pretty cool. It's so pretty. It's so stylish. And it was only $4.99. They have um, items from the body shop. So they had that going for a good rate. Some Sephora stuff was even in there. I was like, I Okay, I see you. Um, different type of mask or what have you. Uh, that way you can have your game up without spending a whole bunch of cash. That's another reason why I like these type of stores because you don't have to spend regular retail price. And that, guys, is always the what? The what is always the win. Standard skins, those are really pretty as well. Now, their perfumes and their fine fragrance mist, those they usually keep grouped together. And I love getting them from these kind of stores because they're a cheaper price than you'll pay at a regular, like, you know, Sephora, or if you took yourself to Alta, like they Alta and Sephora is like one of the highest price 
way to go to get perfume like especially with all these different discount perfume sites available but you have to be careful you're getting one that is accredited that's not selling fake perfumes stuff like that and not selling you testers you always have to just make sure and once you find one that's good to go then go ahead and purchase from them and y'all excuse me i love just turning things around i don't know why i do that when i go to these stores but i will spend like a good five minutes just turning things back around i don't know what it is about me and doing that but i do it quite often but this is just other perfumes that they had available um the air apostle one looked very interesting to me and this one too like this was really really pretty what is from candies or something like that this was really really pretty 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 and it was only 14.99 that rate is definitely a great way to go as far as price point when it comes to a perfume the ellen tracy that was cute cute i love the design on the packaging and i think those were 14.99 too they had a lot of bb stuff and they had a lot of um ariana grande and they always have a lot of ariana grande like all the time and then there goes burr 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 burberry i remember when burberry used to be the ish like now people really don't talk about burberry that much but burberry is still the ish anyway even though people don't talk about it as hard as they used to burberry is still that chick so yeah that's some of the perfumes that they have and again more ariana grande and then i looked up this line right here um the bahamas line because i was like oh my goodness what if it's way more expensive than i think but it's really not that expensive i think it was like 29.99 is regular price or something like that or 39.99 i i really can't remember to be honest but um the packaging was really really cute and i was like yeah yeah i love the packaging of that one so yeah that's just more perfumes that they have available and don't worry i'm about to get to the men's perfume well colognes right now that way you guys can see all the men ones they have available because normally i know a lot of time when us women do things we leave the men out um in our videos but i don't want to leave any of the men out at all so we will be getting to the men so i'll be getting over to y'all but i thought this was a good deal on a body wash i think it was like five something and some change which is really good as well um and then they had that uh, natural deodorant too and y'all know i'm on a natural deodorant kick right now then they got the body washes they have so much to choose from but we can't spend all day in this store Let's get into the men's stuff, y'all. Look at that original um, different scents. I think that's going for $12.99. Like, all those are $12.99. They got black. They got reserved. Different, um, you know, scents in it. Curve Men, the Hugo, the Nautica Blue. They had Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. They had Adidas. Um, they had so many different brands, y'all, um, that men can choose from. I like that they give men their own section, their own options, so they can find what's best for them. A lot of stuff is put away, you know, so people can't steal it, so you can't smell it all. 
All right, y'all. So as you see behind me, we're at Burlington. So we're going to go in there and see what Burlington has. Excuse Rosalinda. She is not clean. Well, she was clean on Friday. And then my kids by Saturday dirtied her. So Rosalinda is not clean. And that's why they don't be allowed in here like that. Because they mess Rosalinda up. They need to stay in the mom car. Uh, but I'm going into Burlington to see what they have. But as y'all saw, TJ Mack, not TJ Maxx, but Marshalls was jumping like oh my goodness the marshals was off the chain i just kept filming because it was so much to film like it was so much to film i'm trying to find a spot but i don't like to be parked close to people because people don't know how to park and then they accidentally bump on the me you know you bump on the me you know if i catch these hands kind of thing so i'm very like picky where i park at like anybody else like that with their car like i'll park all the way all the way all the way just to not have somebody park next to me and then somebody will come and park right next to me i'm like i parked all the way all the way out the way all the way all the way out the way and you came all the way all the way out the way as well like where they do that at like it's crazy but anyway i'm just trying to find a place to park so i can go in here into this burlington normally burlington don't be hitting on a whole lot of anymore like they used to but we'll see, maybe, maybe. So I'm gonna park by, over by this tree. Ain't nobody near me, like ain't a soul, not a soul over here. And a soul better not show up to park, okay? <laughs> so we gonna go in here, y'all. Um, crazy thing just happened with my um, scent pod thing. I had to take it out and throw it out. And I even have oil still on my hands. One of my Bath and Body Works, like, car vent things just started leaking like one of the new ones and i got in the car and it was just leaking 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 i said oh hurried up and threw that out like uh -uh, i'm getting all them oils everywhere so my hand is gonna smell like um pumpkin pecan waffles for the rest of the day i'm pumpkin pecan waffles oh my goodness it is strong but i like it Ooh, <laughs> it smells like a fucking pecan waffle but yeah that thing just started dripping out of nowhere i don't know what that was about Burlington. They're gonna have copyrighted music, so I'm probably not gonna be able to do anything. I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, like always. <sighs> no, I be getting upset. I can't let y'all know my immediate reaction of how I feel. I want y'all to know immediately how I feel so y'all know it's real, you know. But I'm not a person that really enjoys um a lot of what are these things a lot of purses and bags i really don't enjoy a lot of them but now i have to look at them all the time that i start falling for them and falling deeply into them um so now i'm starting to really get into purses and loving purses and really wanting to be around purses I don't know. It's something about when you start going into these stores a lot and you see them all the time. You just be like, oh, I need this bag. This bag is cute. The book bags were live. Like regular price for these book bags, $98 going for $34. Steals. Steals. Look at that red. Like that red is pretty, pretty. That pretty, pretty. Like, oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Then these purses are affordable. They're affordable. It's not like when you go to the Louis store and it's like one bag is running you about $1,500. Well, guess what? You only getting one bag a year because the bags are $1,500. Like, seriously, they're very, very expensive. So to come in here and you can get a bag for 40 bucks, that's under 100 you still got money you could put in that purse okay look at the fila look at that look at all that oh my goodness these bags are everything like y'all i'm sorry i know it's only supposed to be about the hygiene but when i go into stores like this i gotta look around and purse area is the area that gets me um burlington has been slipping on a pimping when it comes towards body care like um skin care all that like burlington I don't know if they're not getting enough orders in, if TJ Maxx and Marshalls is taking all the orders, but they starting to turn into Ross. Like when it comes to these items, they really starting to turn into Rose because they're not giving what it needs to give. And I smelled that. It wasn't that great. I thought it would have been bomb because of the packaging. Nope, nope, nope. It wasn't giving. Like, but you can find Needle in a Haystack good things in this location. Um, I'm not going to say anything wrong about it. I like from Burlington getting a lot of my um, 
decor. I've been getting great home decor pieces from Burlington. That's where I've been getting my wins is in my home decor with them um, and not in my body wash and body care and face products. But it's always nice to look around and I'm so happy that I didn't buy anything like that body butter. That looks sick. I ain't even gonna lie. $5.99, good price. It looked as sick. This I was gonna pick up till I noticed that it was the um um what is that thing called? Um what is that called that you spray on it's uh, why am I forgetting that name? Oh my goodness, it's deodorant. It's a deodorant, Tina. It's deodorant. So yeah, it was deodorant. And I was like, oh no, it said moisture. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, moisture, skin. But it was a deodorant. So I put that back because y'all know how I am about my aluminum free stuff. So I was like, mm-mm. Um, and then they had different face washes. I don't mess with everybody company face wash. You know what I mean? I just don't. But they had a lot of different face washes, stuff with the hyaluronic acid, uh, the watermelon. That was cool. And I was like, oh, you know, it's just a scrub. But I just know how sensitive my face is to a lot of things. And right now I'm having really, really bad breakouts. So I'm on my Mario Badescu kick again. Um, and Mario Badescu, I get the acne um, cleaner one because it works really good for my face. And look at that. That body scrub was so cute from Pacifica. Like, y'all know at that moment I was like, ooh. And then I seen that fruit burst smoothie papaya. Y'all, I could have lost my mind in there. And it was only $3.99. So it was super cheap. It wasn't expensive at all. And I could have went ham. But once y'all see what I did at the end, y'all going to be so proud of me. Like, you might, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so. Y'all going to be on y'all Drake, okay? But, yeah. Let me just show you the rest of the stuff that this store had so we can move on to our final destination, which is Miss TJ Maxx. guys so we are at the tj maxx the last step in our adventure get your loud truck out of here came to see you otis we here for the tj maxx so let's go inside and let's see what they have inside of the store <sighs> hopefully they don't got no music playing because i don't feel like doing this voiceover for the day not today Music. That's a good thing, y'all. Oh, there goes the music. Gotta go. Me, in my personal opinion, the TJ Maxx was very similar to Marshall's. So we're going to actually speed through this because a lot of the options were kind of the same as far as body care was concerned. I was like, oh, I seen this when I went to Marshall's and they had it there. But one thing they didn't have was that Cosmic Renew, um, but they had it here, but they didn't have that at the Marshall's. They had him Heaven. They had the Orly again that I seen at the Marshall's. So... You know, it was a lot of dupes, so I thought the cosmic thing would have been cool to try out, but then I noticed it was for your face, and I was like, I don't need another tonic for my face. I was hoping it was
was something for the body itself, but it was for the face. That's why reading is fundamental. Okay. So I was like, yeah, no, nah, I ain't going to happen. Captain Honey Almond. That seems so interesting for $6.99. A lot of Jason products are seen at both locations. So the Jason products are now um, being found here. And it's a lot cheaper than getting them from like HEB and stuff like that. More of the hemp, the raw um, sugar line is here as well. The Nivea, of course. Um, I thought this thing was pretty interesting. I was like, this looks like an oil can. What is this? Um, it is a hand soap refiller in lavender. Y'all know how I love my lavenders. And that was $7.99. I thought that was pretty cool. Do I have a use for it? No. But it didn't take from the fact that it was pretty cool. But look at that Camilla Rose. I didn't see that anywhere else. The cleansing milk. So I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't end up getting it. But why didn't I end up getting it? I don't know. I think I didn't have a use for it is why I didn't get it. But it was a really good price because if you know anything about that line, that line can get a little bit costly. Again, with some of these dupe things that we already seen before. Look at that. The um, Animal Cracker. Pink Frosted Animal Cracker. That sounds so good, don't it? Don't, don't it sound good? Don't it sound good? It does. And look at that. That's so cute. I love the packaging on that. Like sometimes when I go in these stores, I go in there just looking for things just purely off how cute the packaging is. More stuff like the white pair and stuff like that um, from the philosophy line. These stores have a lot of philosophy stuff. So why do you need to go to Ulta and spend more on philosophy? You don't. You don't got to do it. You can go here and get it for the fraction of the cost. Um, I love that they have overseas brands come in. Like, look at that peach body wash. That looks so interesting to me. I'm like, Ew. and that looks pretty good, too. So they had a lot of stuff that would interest me if I was buying body washes right now. But since I'm on restriction and cannot buy as many, I had to be a good girl. Because that coffee stuff, exfoliating scrub stuff, that was speaking to me. Um, they they had some toning conditioner in there. That shouldn't have been there. I think it was supposed to be somewhere else. But, you know, they had it over there as well. And this was super cute. And I wanted to get it. We'll get to it in a second. Is that blue thing over there in the corner. But that looked good, too. That body wash and grapefruit and ginger. Like, I was like, mmm. And the price was right, y'all. Six ninety nine. dollars Say it. Six ninety nine. dollars Argan body wash. This thing was cute. I like that. What y'all think? That was real cute. And it was under $7. And it says soap. And it already has soap in it. It was everything. And I love how they color coordinate. Like if you notice, all their stuff is color coordinated. Which is nice as well. And there's that facial serum that we've seen at the other location as well. And they had a spray. So sometimes you can find a spray at one location. And you can find the other stuff at a different location. It's very tricky how these stores work. But they kind of work together and i guess it works for us because we go to all of them anyway we can pair and put these things together and get our best deal enjoyed the talk through and all that and going to the different stores so i have the stuff from marshall 
Last time I went to Marshall's, like a big old bag. And then this time when I went to Marshall's and all the other stores I visited. So I'm gonna start with last time's Marshall's and then we'll go from there. And that video was like super, super old. So you ain't even gonna know what trip it was. So it is what it is. I got these pants right here, <laughs> super cute. They're sleep pants. These are the Baby Yodas. And I just thought they were really, really cute. They were $9.99, so that's a good price for Star Wars. I'm trying to see what size they are in. Oops, I grabbed the wrong ones. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I might have to give these to Grace. <laughs> I thought I grabbed the right one. It was on the right hanger, but it was not. So this might end up being sleep pants for Miss Grace. They'll be extremely big, so I don't know. I might take them back, I don't know. Um, they were just on the wrong hanger. I thought I got a large, but um, that's not a large right there, okay? Um, and then I got these House of Harlow 1960. Um, and this is that cute little um, chain that I told y'all is like the one from Christian Dior. Um, and it's a lot cheaper though, $9.99 compared to a Christian Dior one that's going for $700. Give me the $9.99 one. And funny thing, funny fact, is that Christian Dior jewelry, LV, all that jewelry, that's costume jewelry. It's all costume jewelry. You're paying for the name. And I, I've paid for the name quite a few times with my Chanel's, my Louis Vuitton's and all that. I paid for the name and it is what it is. Um, but the Christian Dior, I'm just not ready to pay for the name yet. So I thought this would be a nice little link to get instead. So I picked that up. I got this for my um, ear pods. Looks just like that. It's a blinged out case. I thought that was really, really cute. Um, and it was only what? I think $14.99? No, $7.99. That's a really good price. So I'm going to replace the one I'm using right now and use this one. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And it's for the first and second generation of the AirPods. So I got that. Um, I got this Impressions Vanity Hello Kitty mirror. So I'm really happy about this one. It's a compact mirror. And I believe, is it lighted? It's soft touch sensor, dimmer switch on it, ultra bright, um, daylight LED lighting, two-time magnifying mirror, all that, y'all, for $12.99. I think, yep, $12.99. That's all I paid for. So this is super cute, so I'm happy to have it. Um, another thing that I picked up was a strawberry milk body cleanser. Y'all, oh my goodness, it was $5.99, so not bad at all. I wanna put this in the shower now, like, oh, this is good. This smells like candy. Mm-hmm. Oh man, is this strawberry Skittles? This is good, good. So it says strawberry milk. So this is going in the shower immediately. So I got that. I got this two-piece set from BCBG. Um, looks just like that. It was $17.99. $17.99? Really? I paid that? Mm, okay, I must have really liked it at the time. So I got the fine fragrance mist and I got the one ounce perfume, 1.7 ounce perfume. See why I spent that kind of cash on one product in a Marshalls. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. I see why I spent my little 17 man and Okay, and somebody dog out there, y'all. And it is what it is. Ain't nothing I can do. But yeah, I can see why I spent my little $17.99. It smells good. Um, another thing that I got was this right here. Love is Love Exfoliating Body Scrub. Yes. And this one is in Lavender Citrus. And it's not open yet. I think I'm going to open it so I can smell it really quick. Ooh. Not very citrusy, it's more lavender than anything and it looks just like that. So you guys can see what it looks like. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to use this. This is a good nighttime one. This will be a real good nighttime one. And another thing I didn't show you from Trader Joe's so I just wanted to put in this video is a moisture cream shave. And this is in Honey Mango. Because y'all know I'm always trying out different like shave gels and stuff like that. So I wanted to give this one a try as well. Mmm. Y'all, the mango, ooh, the mango is good, good. So yeah, this is in Honey Mango. So I'm happy to have her. So that's everything that's in this one. So we're just gonna pull that to the side. 
And then we're gonna get into just recent stuff. So this is the recent stuff. First thing I got from the Marshalls, these are actually Juicy Couture Seamless Shaping Shorts. So they're just shaping shorts and they give you like holding some of that belly and taking some of them legs, you know? So I got that, it was a three pack, I think for $9.99. So I was like, why not? And they're really cute. I got them just to wear around the house. I was like, oh, these would be real cute lounging around the house. Um, you know, like boxers, men's boxes or whatever. But um, turns out it's shapewear, so okay. And it says Juicy Couture, so I'm gonna be getting some use out of that. Um, I did pick Justin up some Adidas socks. I gotta take them downstairs to him, but he got these Adidas socks because he always losing socks. I don't know if he eating them or what. I don't know what he doing with them socks, y'all. I don't know. But I got him these Adidas socks. They were like $9.99, I think. Is this the thing for it? Yep, $9.99, regular price, it says 20. Um, I picked this up as well because I had to. It's in Wedding Cake, okay? It's from Body Prescriptions. It says something blue, you know, because wedding something blue. And this is Wedding Cake. And I, I got to I gotta smell it. Like, of course, it's not open. But I got to open it because I got to know what this smells like. Like, Wedding Cake. Oh, my goodness. Mm, you get the vanilla. nice and sweet is that a buttercream it's coming for me y'all this buttercream is something this good y'all mm-hmm look at it mm -hmm. mm -hmm. y'all this good and it smell good like a buttercream ice thing going yes i like this something blue wedding cake this is a good one and it was only 5.99 um also i picked up this for justin from the marshalls it was only three dollars this is the portola men's grooming two-in-one face wash exfoliating and cleansing is in sport so i got that for justin so put that thing in sport okay so let's smell it oh that smells pretty good okay that ain't bad at all so it says energizing citrus and musk. So that's Justin's. Um, I also picked up this item because it was on clearance. As you can see, it's used a little bit, but it's all right. It was only $5.50 and it's good, good. So I was like, ooh, and then I tried to find a, like a brand new one and they didn't have a brand new one. So I was like, mm, I'm stuck with this one, but I, I don't mind being stuck with it. This is a Visa Radiant from Guess. Y'all, this is good, good. Like, let me spray some in the top. Yes, I really do like that one. So I got the Ibiza Radiant. Um, so that way I can use that up. And then the last one we have in here is Smart Smarty Pits. And I don't know why I bought another natural deodorant. Because the last natural deodorant I told y'all about, um, y'all told me to try, um, what, Playful Pits or something like that. Uh, I tried it out and y'all, I'm loving Queen. Queen is so good. Like the whole line is amazing. And I don't need another one after trying that line. I want to stick with them. But they had it for $4.99. I was like, ooh, a natural deodorant for $4.99. Um, why not? It smells pretty good, too. But I'm on this natural deodorant kick. Now I have enough that's going to get me through quite some time. So I'm really not looking for any more natural deodorants. Um, I think I've fulfilled that need that was inside me okay that that need is now filled okay um but yeah this is aluminum free no parabens and none of that stuff no talc none of that so i picked that up as well that's it that's everything i picked up everything was mainly from marshall's like the other stores i looked around and i was just was like maybe maybe and then not today like because i'm really trying to be smarter about what i buy and get stuff that i'm going to use or something i don't have a lot of so that's why I ended up with what I have. So what did you like from what I saw in the store? What would you have purchased? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Make sure that you thumbs up this video. You know, interact with me. Help me get known. That's how the algorithm of YouTube works. Y'all gotta let people know about me. You gotta share the videos. We're on the road to 100K. And we're gonna get there one person at a time without giving up the quality, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.